in the blue hell is going on with gaming these days? I mean, seriously, okay, it's a question we've all been asking ourselves for a while, but this is a new one. And for all you people who are toting the Kinect saying, oh, the Kinect, oh, it's so great, oh, yeah, no, you're wrong. You want to know why? Because you know what they're planning on doing? Do you know what Microsoft has patented with the Kinect? See all these patents going on really with these games that are patenting those things? Now, okay, even though it's a patent, there's no guarantee they're going to use this, because a lot of companies put patents on stuff they're never going to use. They just have the patent just in case. Most time, they really don't use it. I mean, Nintendo has some a patent on the Mario scissors or something like that, just so other people couldn't create it. I don't know. But let's just chalk this up into the further world of gaming, saying fuck you to the actual gamers. Is that with the Xbox 360 Connect, what it'll do is you have set it up, and if you try to watch a movie or play a game or whatever, and you're not an authorized user of this account, which means it will be able to tell that you're not an authorized user by looking at you. That's not creepy enough as it is. It looks at you, and all of a sudden it knows, oh, this is not the operating user. It charges you. It will charge you extra. Don't you pay enough for Xbox Live as it is? I don't have Xbox. I know people who do. You know, they gotta pay for the Xbox Live and this, that, and the other thing. So they're already paying. And now that Microsoft or Xbox would expect you to pay more? Because Oh, well, this person isn't authorized. What the hell, man? Really? Is this the route you want to go? Come on. It's not like you're that desperate for money. You're fucking Microsoft. All right? You certainly got more money than me. You certainly got more money than your average gamer. You don't have to take any more from them. You got more going on than just gaming. You are a multi-billion dollar industry who would deal with a lot of shit and provide a lot of stuff that gets you billions of dollars each year and now you want to charge more money because somebody's not an authorized user so they so they can't watch Netflix because they're not authorized. I mean, what the hell? This has just been the stupidest year of patents so far. I mean, you got this, then you got the rumor that Sony's doing the patent for the commercials during gaming. Oh, speaking of Sony, they had another one where if you like have your Vita out somewhere, say you're at a coffee shop or a restaurant, whatever, and you plug in your charger, if it's not recognized as a charger from your house or whatever, it'll charge you extra for that. Don't throw a bill on you somewhere where it's like, oh, well, you used this charger at the local Starbucks two weeks ago. Let's go me an extra, um, calculate that right there, um, $52.33. Really? So, all these crazy patents come out here to try to find ways to take more money out of us. Oh, look, um, you sell us the incomplete games. Well, they're not incomplete. You just lock the rest of it down, and you want more money out of that. You want us to pay more money upon, on top of the $60, 65 in this state of California because we have tax. And then you want us to pay more money, sometimes 50 or twice, for a season pass. If you get the season pass, you can get everything when it comes out. Which means you're just paying for the rest of the game all at once instead of individually. But I got off topic here. My basic point is that Microsoft is sitting there doing this thing where with the Kinect, which watches you, watches you. It looks at you. It's like, hmm, who's playing me today? Is that Jim? Let me check my database here. Hey, Jim! You're not an authorized user. Fuck you. Um, that's an extra twenty bucks for you to use a for you to watch this movie on Netflix, Jim. Jim Baker, who lives at fifty-five something Street. I don't know why. You see, I'm going with this, right? So yeah, that's the new pet that Microsoft comes with. Will they actually go through with it? Who knows. If, not, if they don't do it for this, you can definitely believe that it might be something to do for the next Xbox, which is possible, if you think about it, because, you know, they might be putting this patent so when the Xbox 720 or next Xbox, whatever the hell it's called, comes out, 
the technology will allow more for that. I mean, it'll probably even ask you when you're setting it up. See, it, it's probably going to come with Connect built in or whatever. I don't know. It's possible. It's going to set up. We need to take a picture of you so you off, make sure you're an authorized user. And it'll like, probably let you know, you know, in the terms of service, even though it'll be like really tiny. And because nobody, they know nobody really reads the terms of service. Some people do, not enough. You know, really tiny. That, okay, Bob. If you're not the authorized user of this, that means that you are that whoever else you use is going to be charged. And they'll probably charge the authorized user for letting somebody else who's not authorized. I gotta stop doing this. Because every time I say authorized, you gotta do this. The one that's not authorized to go ahead and do the next you see what I'm saying, right? It's like they'll charge the authorized user because he lets somebody not authorized watch a movie or play a game on the system under a different name, or maybe the same name, but it recognized it wasn't them under their name playing, and they might try to say, oh, that's, f and they might even try to say it's fraud. Like, oh, you're letting this person use your account to play a game or watch a movie. That's fraud. We have to charge you. There'll be a fine. Um, the police will be on their way. You know, we got some men coming. <laughs> some guys are coming. Yeah, they should be there in about 20 minutes, so you might want to, you know, be prepared for that. So anyway, that is my take on that. I think it is crap. It's just more crap that they're planning on doing in the next generation of systems. See, so I keep saying this generation is going to be a very terrible generation. That they're trying to try and screw you and find more ways to get money out of you. Play, um, PlayStation is wanting to bombard you with commercials in the middle of your games. Xbox wants to watch you and make sure that the right people are playing your system. Yeah, and who knows what evil tactics Nintendo might have up their sleeve. I gotta believe they're planning something. I don't want to think they are. I know they're up to something. This whole Wii U thing with the TV. I don't know. I'm just saying. Well, that's my thought on the subject, so... Once again, that's pretty much a... Screw you from the gaming world, or from the gaming companies, to... It's consumer fan base. You know what? I say fuck you too. Turn off.